Yo, 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 what's up? And if we still continuing with Lockout Men makes the call on the podcast banner. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode. I am keeping dropping my phone. That's how she lost contact. We lost the contact. There we go. That's how she keeps losing the contact because I keep dropping my phone. But hold on. Here we go. Welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Mates the Call for you. Yes, you. You. Right there. You. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, you. Yo, MTC 2020. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you guys enjoying these calls, man. Yo, why don't you hook a brother up with some coffee right quick? Better yet, let me, you know what I am going to do? Hold on right quick. Give, give me a minute. I am about to, let's see. Uh, Let's see. Copy. There we go. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's move this up. Up here. There we go. There we go. And why don't we lock that? All right. See that right there? Up there? Wait. 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 There you go. You guys see that right there? Yes. Hook a brother up, all right? Hook a brother up. Doing these calls right here right here gets a brother thirsty. Right here. Right wait. Right here. Right here. Right here. So hook a brother up with that. Let me uh plug this back up. All right, so. Who are we going to call today? Who are we going to call today? Let's see. Bam! We're going to call Scotland. Scott Lynn. We're going to call Scotland Transport. Look at them trucks, man. Look at look at them hoods right there. I, I don't believe that this company... <laughs> I don't believe that this company is an automatic fleet. I don't know. Man, look at look at that hood right there. <sighs> that is so sick. All right, so let's see if we can uh, get a little bit of information about uh, about this company. Let's see. Overview. Here we go. Scotland is a premier transportation and logistics provider specializing in hauling time-sensitive refrigerated products with the use of state-of-the-art equipment with an initial focus on hauling fresh produce we understand the importance of communications and the service level required for perishable shipments we pride ourselves on integrity and reliability of our account managers dispatchers drivers and outside carriers in an industry that often has a reputation for the lack of integrity scotland truly stands out from the com uh, competition with our proactive, honest communication and commitment to superior service. Let me um, let me do this right quick because this particular call was suggested by this particular call was suggested by big papa the trucker and he he actually had a question about about them let me see here we go all right so i found i found them he says uh he wants me to make a call on Scotland Transport out of Florida. They have a lease purchase I need you to dig into. So I am about to give them a call and we about to dig into their lease purchase program. So they have a Canadian transport number, Canadian produce, U.S. transport company and U.S. produce. So contact let me see hold on let's see uh u.s job opportunities let's bring that up uh u.s division 
uh, lease purchase. Okay, so their lease purchase, uh, what I found is they offer a competitive pay rate, the miles you need to, for financial success, $2,000 sign-on bonus, premium miles paid both East and West Coast, plates, permits, and insurance paid, owner-operator owner health benefits, U.S. federal highway use of tax paid, fuel card, lumpers paid, decal paid, payroll, security, direct deposit, and full load carrier. If you're interested in working with Scott Lynn, you can reach us at, we about to make that call right now. And we can, oops, wait a minute. Hold on, go back, go back, get back. And we about to call them at one, two, three, nine, two, one, zero, three, thousand. Extension three, six, one, four. Thank you for calling the USA Division of Scotland Group of Companies, your number one coast-to-coast -coast perishable carrier. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. If you're an outside trucking company, please press one three, six, to apply for a driving position. This is Jason. Hey, Jason. How's it going? Um, are you a recruiter or a person of interest? Uh, no, I... sir. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Did you Matt... just call me a person of interest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was... I'm not on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm I'm trying to get some I'm trying to get some information about the lease purchase program that you guys offer. Okay, you have an idea when you, like wouldn't you be looking for a job? Uh well, I'm doing my I'm doing my research right now, so, you know, I'm just trying to get, you know, a basic understanding cuz somebody suggested me to give you guys a call. And as I'm looking on okay. the, and as I'm looking on the website, I see you guys have all these hoods right here, man. These these trusts is just too mean right here, man. So I got gotcha. you. Well, the, the the reason I was asking is because we are uh, currently I'm not hiring. All my trucks are full, oh. but you know who knows? Sometime in the next you know two months we might get some new trucks in. I just I, I don't know right now what when we're going to start hiring again. Well, you you mind if I you mind if I take the time to ask you a few questions so that I can so I can, you know, sure. get a get a ballpark of the company just in case you guys do decide sure. to rehire. All right, so by the looks yeah. by the looks of this company, you you guys need experience. So what's what's the experience out the gate? I'm sure you guys are not looking for out of school drivers to come to you. No, I mean there three years is preferred, but a minimum of at least two years. At least two. Okay. So mm -hmm. so what's the where's the main terminal at? Because I'm seeing that you guys got like a Canadian and a US. So <laughs> where I'm I'm out of the US of course, so I, I guess I will be going to the US terminal for orientation, right? Yeah, so we we have an office here in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, we're, there's not like a truck yard here or anything, but this is where our dispatch is. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a larger U.S. facility here in the next couple of years, but it's it's still in the design stage. So we'll have a place for trucks to park and stuff then. But right now we don't have anywhere in the states. But we, dispatch is in Fort Myers, Florida, and that is where you would have your orientation. Okay. Now let me ask you this about orientation. Um, like for pre-employment uh, drug testing, do you guys do hair follicles or or is it a uh, is it a uh, urine? It's a peak up. Is a what? Yeah, it's urine. It's urine. Oh, okay. It's urine. Okay. Okay. Um, how would you guys get me down to Florida? Would I please don't say Greyhound? Um, I mean, you make your own way down here. Oh, okay, okay. So you 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 won't be able to get me down there. Uh, I mean, I could get you down here, but they're going to charge you for it. Oh, okay, okay. Is there a sign-on bonus with you guys? There is. There's a 
it's a two thousand dollar sign on bonus. Um, the first thousand dollars is after three months, and the second thousand dollars is after six months. Oh, okay, so it's paid within the first year. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about my DLT card? Would I have to get a new DLT card coming on with you? A what card? My DLT medical card. If I already have oh, one. I <laughs> if I already have one. No. No, I mean, uh, a medical card lasts until it lasts, until it's like a driver's license. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Um, now, doing pre-employment, that, that good stuff right there, do, do can I take care of all my pre-employment stuff before or is it during orientation, like drug testing and stuff like that? No, all that can be done before. I mean, they, I mean, they they drug test you and everything before. I mean, I mean, we wouldn't bring people down here for orientation if they could possibly be rejected. So okay, now I'm on the I'm on the website and it says that you guys just do. Are you guys strictly refrigerated? Uh, refrigerated? Yeah, we. Yes. And as far as these hoods go, man, I'm I'm assuming they're not an automatic. Um, the vast majority of them are not automatic. They're 13 speeds. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, if a person, if a person is interested in driving an automatic, would you guys be able to accommodate them or no? Maybe if I have one available, but like I said, I don't have any open trucks right now. I got you. And like, if you want, I don't, I'm not going to go out and buy a truck in particular for a certain driver. I got we you. just we get what we have. If you want it, you can take it. If not, I'll find the way for it. There you go. There you go. What about uh? C- <laughs> what about CPM? What's what's the CPM there? It's uh it's a dollar twenty six for empty and loaded. Wait, you say wait a dollar? T- is this for company driver or for the lease? Oh, for the lease purchase. We oh. don't have company drivers. Oh, okay, okay. So it's a do- it's a dollar twenty cents a mile. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Now, as far as lease purchases go, like I said, these I would love to get in one of them hoods, man. So that would definitely be a goal for me to to jump into one, jump into the one of them, and uh, and purchase that out. How long is the lease uh, lease purchase program? for the trucks and what's it, the year so it, it would be a brand new truck um i mean right now our last trucks we did were 2020s but um <clears throat> Take it 389 peats the lease is about uh it's a five-year hundred thousand dollar lease the trucks are actually about one hundred and forty-five thousand after we do all the chrome and everything so there is a forty-five thousand dollar balloon payment at the end of the lease if you want to walk away with the truck Oh, okay. Okay. So how much is how how much is that uh how much is that a week for the truck? Well, we pay every two weeks, and every two weeks it's close to like sixteen hundred dollars. So just you're looking at your total fixed cost is, and, and almost sixteen hundred dollars every two weeks. That's everything. That's uh, not just the lease. Um, that's your total fixed cost is just under thirty two hundred. So I'm talking your, your your lease, the residual fee, the taxes. Uh, bobtail insurance, occupational insurance, your total fixed cost, what we're taking out is just under 3200 a month. Okay, okay. And you say this, uh, how, how long do the lease last? Five years, six years? Five years. Five years. All right, so being mm-hmm. that being that I'm coming on as a lease driver, what's, what, what would be the average miles I can average a week with you guys? Um, I mean, our goal is to get you at least 3000 Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what's up. You know, especially paying sixteen hundred dollars every two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so hey, I've I have guys that get more, but after you ha- average home time in and everything, it averages out closer to three thousand. Now some weeks are you gonna get thirty four, thirty two, thirty five, sure. I just said after you average it out it comes out closer to, you know, twenty eight to thirty one hundred, somewhere in there. Okay. With it with your home time and everything. And being that this is leased, this is ten ten ninety nine, right? Correct. Okay. So, do you guys offer anything as far as vacation, holiday pays, and stuff like that? Uh, no, not vacation, but like, uh, I mean, and not vac- uh, not holiday really. The only holiday pay we ever offer is 
uh, in between Christmas and New Year's, they generally offer a 15 cent per mile bump for anybody working in between Christmas and New Year's. Okay, okay. Do you do you offer any medical benefits for the 1099 drivers? Currently, no. Oh, okay, so so being that I'm a 1099 driver, I ha- I'm responsible for all benefits, vision, dental, health insurance, all that yes. good stuff. Oh, okay, okay. That's correct. Now, what about uh break? What about breakdown pay and detention pay and layover? Um, I mean, we have detention and layover. Uh, there isn't, I mean, breakdown pay, no. Okay. Now, as far as breakdown pay, how, okay, now see, leasing is, is kind of a mixed bag for me because I know a little bit about leasing, but I don't know everything about leasing. So let's say mm-hmm. if I, let's say if I do get a, if my truck do break down, now I heard from some mm-hmm. drivers that I will have like a maintenance fee. Can you can you elaborate on that for me? So in case I break down, what what do I what do I do in the situation of me breaking down as a lease driver? We so we we do ours a little bit different. Some companies, yes, sir, they do put in like an escrow account where they pull X amount out of your paycheck every you know every time and and, and hold it for any maintenance. Mm-hmm. Um, since we're getting, you know, we're, we're putting you guys on generally either brand new trucks or semi new trucks that are under warranty. There's no sense in us put, taking your money. Now, a lot of people that do that's because they have a little bit older equipment that you're going to hit breakdowns inevitably, you know, really soon. Mm-hmm. Ours, I mean, with a new truck, it, it, one, hopefully it's covered under warranty and two, it might be a while before you do. But what we do offer is when you do break down, we will, we will pay the bill for you up front. And then they can deduct it over time on the back end. Oh, okay. uh, so, like for example, say you a couple of years down the line, you run to replace all your tires. That's a huge expense, and that would suck to not get a paycheck just because you needed tires. Right. Um, they'll put it on a national account, so you'll get the discount, and then you can talk to them, and they can split it up over over three pays. So they can split it up over a month and a half. They are willing to do it a little bit over that, but anything over those three pay terms, they will start charging a fee on anything that's left over. So if it's a super big repair and you just you, you just can't cut it for three pays, then it, we get it. It's just they, they they will start charging interest after that. Okay. Now being that being that this is lease purchase, are we leasing? Mm-hmm. Are we leasing from you directly, or is it an outside lease yes. that? Oh, it's from. So, do we gotta we gotta do like a credit check or something like that? Down payment. No, we we own the truck. We we own the truck outright. We don't have we don't have to have an outside creditor look into it. We 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 assume all risks. So, there's no credit check. Oh, okay. Now, is there any is there any penalties to me if I decide to like let it go or quit or anything like that? So it's, it's a, a no money down walk away lease. Oh, it's a walk away. Oh, okay, okay. Now I know what a, now I know what a walk away means. <laughs> um, so basically, being that I'm a lease operator, I I could pretty much set my own time, set my own rates. Would I be able to look on a load board to choose my own loads and stuff like that? No, we don't have a load board here that you can look up. And you know you can't choose your own rates. It's still the same dollar per mile. It's a dollar twenty six. Oh, okay. We'll find the freight for you. Okay. Now, if you find freight for me, would I be subjected to taking that load? Like, say, for example, the Northeast or down in California. Well, I mean, we, we in general we work with our drivers. So yeah, we get to know you. We're, we're, I mean, we're a small company. We're only running thirty two trucks, man. Uh, you'll, you'll know it's either me, Freddie, or Julio. You'll be working with, and we all work as a team. So we, okay. we figure out what you like and what you don't like, and we, we'll you know plan ahead and try to get you there. Now, I will say, if you mentioned the Northeast and California, we do go into the Northeast. Uh, some of our big contracts are from Florida up to the Northeast, mm-hmm. up to like PA and upstate New York. We don't go on the island, and if you don't want to go to like Mass and stuff like up that far north, I get that as well. But a big part of what we do is to like 
Pennsylvania, New right. York, sometimes right. New Jersey, Virginia, right. stuff up there. We, we do it a lot. So and, and in Southern California, it, that's that's a big part of it. So what we generally do is we run from Florida up to the northeast, mm-hmm. northeast to the Midwest, Midwest to Southern California, mm-hmm. Southern California back up to the Midwest, northeast or southeast. So it's so, just kind of a big triangle running up, down, over, up, down, over, trying to do that all so the time. We're, so we're coast to coast. And you're mainly, uh, you're mainly produce, right? So reefer trailers? We yeah I mean sure we're we're all reefer trailers so it's not always produce so I mean we do frozen food refrigerated food but but yes we do run produce absolutely oh okay okay now let me ask you a question about uh, about Canada um, I know some drivers that I came across do go up into Canada what is the requirements to going up I, into Canada our U S fleet does not go up into Canada you would only be running the lower forty eight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I don't have to get no extra uh, credentials or anything like that. Not at all. Nope. Just, oh, okay. It's two at least two years of uh, class A. That's all you need. What about a hazmat? Do you guys require a hazmat? I don't run any hazmat. No. Oh, okay. Um, now, as far as scales and tolls, um, do you guys? Uh, I'll pay for scales, tolls, lumpers. All that stuff. Oh, okay. So none of that, none of that has don't have to come out of our pocket right then and there. Correct. And yeah, I mean, we have free pass on all the trucks, and then any lumpers or anything like that, we'll pay comp check as long as you turn in your receipt, it'll be reimbursed on your paycheck. Oh, okay. Um, well, it just won't. It, like it's, I guess not reimbursed. It just wouldn't be deducted if as long as you turn in a receipt for any okay. comp check you take. I got you. Now, can we run the tolls? Some companies I talked with so far says they some of the tolls are restricted. But can we run all the tolls? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, I'm assuming we would, being that we're lease drivers, right? <laughs> uh, what's inside? Well, uh, I'm, you're not paying for the tolls, I am, but I, would, I don't restrict people. <laughs> I got you. Uh, what what trucks do you guys... Here, one second. Here, I, I'm okay. sorry to cut you off. My boss is calling me. Hold on one second. Okay. And your patience, but most of all, thank you for choosing us for all your agricultural, transportation, and logistics. All right, boss. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh... I, I kind of lost where lost my train of thought. Where was oh oh tolls and all that good stuff. Okay okay, um, uh, the trucks. I, like I said before, I see all these hoods, man. So what 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 are you offering? Um, like I said, right now we aren't hiring, and I don't know what the next round of trucks is going to be. I assume though there'll, there'll be three eighty nine long nose peats. Oh okay. Uh, what will be, the... be either like? Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say they're they're either gonna be one of four colors: uh, burgundy, yellow, orange, or black. Oh, okay. And they're 13 speeds for the vast majority. Every once in a while, if they get a couple of Kenworths, they might throw an automatic or two in there. But uh, just, just my guess, best guess is they're gonna be 13 speeds, 389 feet. Okay. What you know the amenities in the trucks? You know what they're gonna they're gonna come with, or what you already have? What's already in there? Yeah, uh, well, I think so. They will have an inverter already installed. They'll have a um, a um, the fridge. They will not have a microwave or a TV. Oh, okay. What's the uh, computer system you guys use for e logs? Currently, PeopleNet. PeopleNet. Oh. You, so there's going to be a change with that soon or later? I hope so. I hope so. What, you don't like PeopleNet? What's the matter with PeopleNet, man? Um, It's just there's a lot more modern things that are more user-friendly that I like better. Oh, okay. Okay, then the PeopleNet, I got you. Uh, being that these is... Yeah, the, the, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just to say the PeopleNets that we have are, are just... They're a little cumbersome. They're not real user friendly. They're you know the touch screens are a little iffy. So I got I'd you. rather get something newer. So you guys got the old school. Y'all don't have y'all don't have the tablets. No. Well, okay. No, we don't. All right. Uh, being that these is uh, lease purchase trucks, technically these trucks still belong to you guys while they while while the drivers is paying for them. So do you guys have a driver cam inside of the truck? No. Oh, okay. 
And I guess uh, my There's not a, a cam encoder outside of the truck. Well, okay. There's a GPS on the truck and there's up there. There's not there's uh, not a driver cam. There's That's, no cameras, no. I got you. Uh what is the truck governing that? Uh seventy five at the pedal, seventy on cruise control. Wait. Seventy five on the pedal and seventy on the cruise? Why is it backwards? Um, because when your foot's on the pedal, you're if you're going faster, you're probably paying attention, whereas on cruise control you're not. I got you. Okay. Okay, well, that'll work. Well, man, thank you very much. What's your name again? My name's Jason. Jason. The actual recruiter and fleet manager is Freddie. So if you have any follow-ups or anything, just ask for Freddie. He'll be, able, he'll be out better than I can. Oh, no doubt. But you, the information that you gave me so far, man, is pretty is pretty awesome. So, uh, for, you know, for us drivers that's interested in coming over to Scotland, if you have more trucks, when, how, how would you guys uh, put out? Uh, information if you if you guys are are are, are hiring or Freddie, Freddie would just send you an application fill it out with and then, you know send back your driver's license social and medical card and we'd and then uh the only thing i mean that like any dot uh, uh hiring we have to call your previous employers so okay um Obviously, just you just need to point out if you want us to call your current employer or not. Eventually, we'll have to, but we can wait and save that one for last or whatever if need be. Okay. Well, that'll work, man. Well, thank you very much, bro. I really do appreciate the time, man. Thank you. Absolutely. You have a great day. All right, now. But what do you guys think of Scotland? There you have it, Big Papa Pop. Papa Big Papa. Papa Pop Big Sorry for butchering your name. <laughs> Sorry for butchering your name, bro. But uh, Big Papa Trucker. Okay, that's for you, bro. All right, that's for you. Now, this company right here is pretty much a lease-based company. Um, hold on. Let me see. Did I go back into that? Uh... Hold on. Wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they they they're pretty much a lease based company. So there's there's no company drivers at all. There they is a dollar close to a dollar thirty cent a mile. Sounds pretty good. It's a walk away lease. So if you get in there and and you feel that you don't like it, you can just say, Hey, I'm done with the truck. Here it goes. The only downside, I think, is that you get paid every two weeks, and they take a hundred—I mean, a thousand six, uh, sixteen hundred dollars every two weeks. But you figure you probably might make about three, four thousand dollars every two weeks, depending on how you run. I don't think I want to get paid every two weeks. I am so used to getting paid every week, so. Hopefully, if you're interested in Scotland, definitely give them a call. Um, their phone number's down here. Uh, call now. Uh, you can call their U.S. Transportation, which is 1-800-263-1888. And you can talk to one of the four recruiters. Jason is one of them definitely give him a call but unfortunately they're not hiring right now or they're not bringing on on new lease drivers new lease drivers because all of their trucks are full and of course you'll definitely get one of these hoods man one of these hoods all right so what do you guys think of that what do you guys think of that call right there I would give that an eight. Let me see. Okay. Okay. I would give that an eight. Yes, sir. Questions answered. Pretty much. I hope I, I asked the, the right questions because I was thinking more of a company side of things. But when he hit me with that one dollar and thirty something cent amount, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that company? And that's he was like, no, we're we're not company, bro. 
we're straight on a uh, straight lease operator so if you're interested in getting in that definitely give them a call and uh see if it'll work out for you well that is it for this episode of lockout men makes the call i gotta keep my mind right because i got the podcast thing in the background but this is the make the call video so if you guys interested in finding out more about scotland definitely give them a call um if you want to know more about any other companies definitely leave it in the comments below and in the community voting page which i will have another set of companies to be voted on next week next time i'm not sure when this video is coming out all right but uh next time i have another voting poll you guys definitely you know get the votes in on who you want me to call next and until next time I really do appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you very much. And come back again to Lockout Man Makes the Call. I will talk to you in another episode. Peace.